Namaskar. My name is Dr. Dotto, Dr. Chirajit Dotto. I'm an ENT, ear, nose, and throat specialist, working in ENT for the last um, 20 plus years. We are here going to talk about COVID 19 and its ear, nose, and throat implications and manifestations, as in what happens, what symptoms do I or you would get if we get uh, infected by COVID 19. Firstly, uh, it's, it's, it's a pandemic, as in it has spread, the virus has spread to all the continents except Antarctica and has affected lakhs, literally lakhs of people. But the thing we need to know is we need not panic. And you might ask, it has spread to five continents, so many people are infected, why should we not panic? Is the numbers you have to put them in perspective. Uh, the deaths, we have, let's put it in an Indian perspective. The deaths in the last few days in India uh, were about 40, 36, 53, 39, uh, last four, four days. And in a single day in India, just normally from different causes, there will be about 25 to 27,000 people dying. So we have to put, we have to compare these two figures, 40 and about 22, 25,000 per day. I'm not saying this is an insignificant number, because every death is a tragedy, irrespective of uh, race, religion, nation, etc. But what I'm saying is we need not panic. Now coming back to ENT or ear, nose, throat, uh, the manifestations or what symptoms will happen if I or somebody else gets COVID-19. Uh, usually, almost all this fever, usually cough, which is about 60-70% of the time, which is almost always dry cough. Um, and you may get respiratory distress or difficulty in, in breathing. In that case, you need to get in touch with the nearest healthcare provider. It could be your family physician, it could be the helpline numbers and they are really guiding you in a very, very useful uh, and very um, uh, efficient manner. So if, if, if the three symptoms I mentioned, fever, dry cough, um, respiratory distress, you'll also have, or whoever uh, gets infected by COVID, will also have malaria. Another thing, malaria as in body ache. Another thing we need to remember is most of the time, even with an infection of uh, COVID-19, most of the time, people will not have any symptoms. They won't have any fever, they won't have any cough, maybe a mild bit of a headache, which they don't even notice. So that is why we need to have the social distancing. That is why we need to wear a mask. That is why we need to wash our hands. That is why we have to make sure that we do not touch our mouth or pick our nose or our eyes after coming home. If you need to go out at all, that is. And after coming home, you need to wash your hands. And even if you're staying in inside, uh, indoors, that is, you need to wash your hands as often as possible. The prevention of ENT symptoms um, or the cure for ENT symptoms um, are comparatively easy. It's just having sips of warm water if your throat irritates, uh, just a bit of hot compress, warm compress um, in your neck region if, if, if you're having a bit of melee. Uh, and that is all that is necessary. Remember here, prevention is more important than cure. And the prevention lies in my hands, in your hands, uh, and in, it is everybody's uh, business to prevent this disease from spreading any further. Remember, we are there for you. From an ENT point of view, all the ENT surgeons are present 24 7. Emergency services are open. You can bring in any time in our hospital, in any hospital uh, uh, 
that you have frequented the helpline numbers so it is something that is very serious but it is certainly not something covid 19 that is it's not something we should panic about stay safe stay secure stay healthy and please get in touch if you need anything